Mother-in-law, white elephant. Son-in-law, daughter-in-law, sister-in-law, brother-in-law. Grandma and grandpa who has everything. Some people are really tricky and I get it. So I wanted to take the hard part of that out for you. So today I'm gonna share a variety of requests from my Instagram community and hopefully you'll get some good ideas too. Okay, mother-in-law was probably the most popular request. I hear you. And funny fact, my husband actually asks me what to get his mom for Christmas. I don't ask him what to get my mom. I, I understand. What I've done in the past is a really luxurious bathrobe. I'm gonna put one of my favorite ones here. It's definitely on the higher end of the pricing of bathrobes. So I'm also gonna link a just as soft, more budget-friendly version here as well. Maybe add some slippers to go with that. I feel like a cozy gift is always, always a win. Now, if you're looking for an awesome experience gift, this would be for anyone. It doesn't necessarily have to be your mother-in-law. I have a friend who actually has a business, so I can speak from experience because I've taken her classes and some of you have even taken the classes with me. The business is called Gather Intentional Living and she hosts online workshops on how to create charcuterie boards, cakes, dessert boards, there's a variety of options, and you receive a beautiful board with it. She also just launched these really beautiful kits. They're a little bit more in price, so it would be a really great luxurious gift if you wanted to purchase that. But it comes with cheese knives, the board, a vase. There's several options, and I think it would be a really awesome experience. I've done it before, and it's a blast. So highly recommend checking out if there's someone who maybe enjoys cooking or entertaining, it's the perfect gift for them. Okay, another big request was in-laws, like son-in-law, daughter-in-law, sister-in-law, brother-in-law. Don't hesitate to get a gift card to a local restaurant. Maybe even volunteer your babysitting services if they have kids. I feel like those gifts I personally much prefer to receive over something uh, tangible because it's quiet time away from the house. It's an experience. I come back relaxed. And again, especially if they have children, babysitting goes a long way. Okay, grandma and grandpa who has everything. I've shared about this one particular gift many times over on my Instagram. I will stand by it forever because I think it's so amazing. Story worth, I told you we gifted this to my father-in-law a, a while ago. And again, I feel like this would be great for grandparents because they have so much to share. Basically, it's a subscription service where they'll receive an email every week with a question and they can reply back to the email. You can help them submit it if they're not tech savvy. And at the end of the year, they turn the answers to that question into a book. And it's really, really cool. So especially for grandparents who have lived their whole lives and have amazing stories to tell, it's a really great way to have those stories saved into something actually tangible so that they can read it, but also you can read that later on. My father-in-law was in the military, so we gifted this to him, and a lot of his military experiences are in that book, and we can't wait to share that with our kids as they get older. So, story worth, fantastic gift idea. Okay, grandma, grandpa, who has everything from older kids, not like little kids. That was another big request. So I know my grandparents loved photos of the family. So it'd be a really great idea to gift a photo session to your grandparents and then have those photos printed and framed really nicely for their home. I love that as well. I don't think it necessarily just has to be for grandparents, but just knowing my late grandparents, they absolutely loved having photos of everyone in the family around their house. So I think that could be a really fun gift to include glued them on and then have them featured in their home after. Okay, kids, I'm gonna have gift guides on kids, but I did wanna just call out a few experience ideas because this is something we've actually been working on in my house. For instance, my daughter loves art. There's local places that offer art classes. It could just be a one-off art class. It could be a series of sessions that you can buy. They also have local places where you can go and like splatter paint and do really fun stuff like that. I typically have been asking our family to gift experiences like that because she 
loves them. For my older son, he likes video games, but I don't really want everyone to get him video games. I'm kind of tired of video games. So for him, gift certificates to a local arcade that he loves to go to. There's also local places that do rock climbing or zip lining. He would absolutely love to get a gift card and also that it's quality time spent with family. So I feel like it's a double bonus there. So any type of experience gift card, look around locally to you. There are so many places popping up that do this and it's fun for all and not bringing more stuff into your house, if you know what I mean. And if you're buying this gift for maybe your nephew, offer to take them because then it's a gift for the parent too. <laughs> it's quality time with you and your nephew or your niece or whoever it is you're buying for and quiet time for the parent. Trust me, no parent will dislike that idea. <laughs> okay, so for teens, I'm not really there yet, but I've pulled some to get some ideas. Concert tickets, great idea. Even if you have to kind of go in on that with family members, obviously those can be a little higher in price. So maybe ask other people in the family to chip in. Also baseball game tickets, football game tickets, even if it's a nosebleed seats, it's all about the experience. I know my son, he's not even 10 and he absolutely loves going to Yankee games and it's a blast. So again, experience in the making and just an overall great time. Okay, and now for 20 year olds, 20 plus that you're having to buy for, do not underestimate the grocery store gift card or just a gift card in general to help either pay for bills, groceries, gas. We've all been there. And I don't know one person in their 20s, my brother included, that would turn that down. That's actually what I try to gift him every year too. Okay, so father-in-law, this is gonna depend on your father-in-law, but I'm gonna share something we use in our house that we love. This salt gun, it's bug assault, I think is the name of it. And this is what we use to kill flies or anything that comes into our house. It's a good time. My husband and I take turns, I'm terrible with it, but my husband genuinely enjoys trying to shoot the flies. It sounds really silly. I promise you they'll love it. Another great gift idea, and again, this might sound a little crazy, is a really nice flashlight. I'm gonna link one here that my husband swears by. My husband owns probably no less than 20 flashlights. Why he needs that many, I don't know, but I will say he's always prepared. It's a great one. This thing lights up like a football field's length. I don't know what it is about it, but he loves it. Your father-in-law probably would too. Okay, white elephant. This I think depends on the type of white elephant party it is. I've been to a few where it's like you get nice gifts and then I've been to some where you get gag gifts. So. We're gonna go the nice gift route, but I'm sure if you search white elephant gag gifts on Amazon, a lot will come up. Scratch off tickets were always the biggest hit of the white elephant party. People would trade that, they would go crazy just to be the one that ends up with those. So even if you just got 20 bucks in scratch off tickets, that is a surefire way to have a winning gift. Another great option is a really fun, small adult game. So Cards Against Humanity, What Do You Meme? There's a game called Never Have I Ever that my friends have a blast playing. So maybe it's that and then whoever gets it has to plan a game night. Okay, we had a lot of requests for son or daughter's boyfriend or girlfriend as well. And I get it, that can be really tricky. I think it depends on what that person enjoys. So are they athletic? Maybe they dance. What is something that they do? Maybe a really nice athletic jacket, having their last name embroidered on it could be a really thoughtful gift. Also think about where they live. So if it's the college boyfriend or girlfriend and it's in a cooler climate, a nice scarf, hat, gloves is always a great option, something that they can use every day. Someone asked employees from boss a raise. If you can't give a raise, <laughs> they have really great gift boxes. Harry and David does really great gift boxes. There are several companies that do really delicious chocolate covered apples. I've received that before from brands that I've worked with. And even though I can't eat it, my kids love it. So I'll link a few in the description below. Okay. Teacher gifts. I know none of you want mugs. <laughs> I'm gonna show you what we actually do for the teachers in our school. So instead of it being one gift per child, we actually ask that the class chip in to one really big gift. So one year we gave her a little fake Christmas tree and the ornaments were different gift cards. So to a local bookstore, to Amazon, Target, a spa she really liked. And we just broke them down into smaller amounts and she loved it. 
loved it because she had a lot of options. And again, it wasn't just adding to the how many mugs she probably already has. If you aren't doing a class gift, find out where she gets school supplies from. Honestly, teachers desperately need help with school supplies. A lot of them fund out of their own pocket for the things in the classroom. Maybe ask her what her classroom needs. Maybe it's board games, more books, supplies, or something she really wanted for her classroom that she just wasn't able to budget for. Never hurts to ask if there's anything the classroom needs, and then that could be a really great gift idea for them. Mom who has everything. I actually love to gift my mom things she wouldn't necessarily buy herself. So maybe it's a really nice skincare set. Brands like Elemis, for example, have holiday sets this time of year where it has little samples of each of their products. That way they can kind of test them out and see if it's something they like. My mom loves stuff like that. Necessaire is another brand. Or if you know maybe your mom loves a certain perfume, I know my mom had asked for that one year. Or if there's something costly, split it with a sibling if you have one. Things that they don't necessarily want to be spending money on for themselves, but they still want them. I feel that that's always a winning gift for a mom or dad. Coworkers, that was another big request. Getting them something like a planner. Emily Lay, I've shared her planners before. I love all of her stuff. They're very girly, so obviously this would be for a coworker who likes that kind of stuff, but she's got great pens, planners, notebooks, things like that on her website. Absolutely love that. You can also find really nice leather ones on Etsy. Maybe their name is engraved on it. I've seen them on Etsy. I'll link some here. If your coworker has an office and loves plants, I feel like a plant is always a great gift. Something also that's hardy and will last a long time. So a snake plant, a pothos, I'll link some below in the description. Delivery men, mailmen. I share this on Instagram every year. We actually every year set out a basket and a cooler that has drinks and snacks. They are so appreciative of this. So I have a little sign that says, thank you from the McBrides, please help yourself. And I make sure that it's stocked every day. Granola bars, chips, pretzels, popcorn, Gatorade, waters, all in there. Then as a gift, I will give them cash, straight up cash or a gift card as a way to say thank you because they bust their you know what's all year long, especially during holiday time. Make sure you hand deliver it to them. A nice note saying thank you for all you do. They will be so appreciative. Husband or a significant other. I feel like my husband is not <laughs> like many husbands out there. He prefers things that are more outdoorsy, historical, loves things like that. One gift I recently got him was this history mail subscription. I'll put the actual name in the description below. He loves this. Every week he gets an actual document from history. So he's received letters from the Wright brothers, a letter that was written to Jackie O, different letters, and he actually compiles them all into a book. He loves it and it's perfect for someone who is a historian like that. Another unique <laughs> gift, and I've shared this before several times, if your husband is really into health and fitness, my husband loves his infrared sauna. I know this thing looks so crazy. He's had it for years. So many of you have purchased this <laughs> for your significant others. He uses it every single day night. I have now purchased this same sauna for my brother and for other people in my life who he's influenced on this sauna. It folds up. It's easy to store. My brother lives in a studio apartment. He can just easily fold it up and tuck it into a closet and then pull it out when he wants to use it. There's this other website called Groovy Guy Gifts. They have really nice sets. So they have like an everyday tactical set. This is right up my husband's alley. It comes with a flask, a money clip, a knife, a pen, a flashlight, and you can have their name personalized on it. It's under a hundred bucks, which is really great. They honestly have something for everyone, regardless of what your husband or significant other. So I'm just gonna drop the link to this website below. Okay, last but not least, you. <laughs> if you have a significant other who has no idea what to get you and you also don't know what you want for the holidays, I always say I don't need anything, don't get me anything. But I get it, some people wanna gift you things. I would love a gift card to buy books because I love books. I love experiences. So that could be a gift card to a restaurant along with babysitting. 
so that I can go and have a nice dinner out with my husband. A spa gift card is something I always welcome. That's not something I gift myself ever. So it will force me to make the time for it. Also, I love my Equilibria CBD. If you have a woman or man even in your life, or if maybe this is you that maybe is a little stressed, has been wanting to try CBD, I love Equilibria's products. I've shared this several times before with you. Also, self-care supplies. So my face cream, perfume, body stuff, things that I don't necessarily want to pay for myself. I would love to receive artwork. I love adding artwork to my home. There are some really great artists, local artists, I'm sure around you, or even just on Minted. Absolutely, that would be a fantastic gift. Lindsay Letters Co., I have several of her art pieces around my house. You can have them framed. You can just receive the artwork. I actually had a follower gift me this piece, and I have it hanging in my office. It's one of my favorite gifts I've ever received. So I'm gonna link her shop below. Again, whether it's a family photo or a photo of a mom holding a baby, a wedding photo, it could really be a beautiful gift for everyone. It's one of my favorite things I've ever received. Okay, so now that I've given you some gift options, I wanna talk about some gift giving tips. Things to think about as you're going into buying a gift for someone. Check Etsy. There are so many amazing gift ideas on Etsy. If you have an avid reader who loves books, I found this really adorable stamp on Etsy that basically will stamp the book and say from the library of and then you can have their name personalized. Another great idea would be a return address stamp. It amazes me the gifts that you can find on Etsy. If you have the time to be able to have them personalized, like if you wanna start shopping now so that they arrive in time for Christmas, just browse, put personalized stamps, gifts for people who love books, for teachers. And there are some really amazing options that you wouldn't necessarily think of. So that is my tip. Also, search for really unique things. So if your grandparents, for example, love a particular album, maybe they have a record player in their home, search for the vinyl. Or if your brother or sister loved a certain band, there are websites that have vintage posters from way back in the day. Band shirts, vintage shirts, anything nostalgic, I feel like is always gonna be a big hit. For instance, my cousin and I used to love Magic 8-Balls. I could totally gift her a Magic 8-Ball and she would love it. Also, subscriptions. There are so many different subscriptions nowadays for people of all ages. My mom, for example, bought a Sports Illustrated Kids subscription for my son. He loves receiving that magazine in the mail. There are KiwiCo boxes. They have a variety of ages zero to 16, which is basically a craft box for kids. There's also American Girl Doll craft boxes. Stitch Fix is another great subscription. Maybe it's a gift card to try it. Book lovers, there's Book of the Month Club. There are so many subscription services. There's wine subscription services. I'm pretty sure there's also a whiskey subscription service too. You could literally just type in whatever it is is that person in particular likes and subscription, and I guarantee you something will pop up. The last thing, a lot of your comments were that you didn't wanna have to gift gift cards. Gift cards aren't a bad thing though. I think it's just a matter of being creative in the gift card you're giving. So instead of, even though we all love Amazon, but instead of an Amazon gift card, maybe it's a gift card to a local home store or a local bookstore. And if you aren't living near those local stores, you can always call them and ask them to put a credit on file for or your family or friend. There's several places in our town that does this. You could easily just call them up and say, hey, my friend loves to shop there. Here's her name. Do you have her info on file? I'd love to add a credit for her the next time she comes in. Or they maybe do e-gift cards. There's so many different ways to do it. Hopefully you guys found that helpful and you have some great gift ideas. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for my next video.